I can fly so very high into the sky Just like a dragonfly I fly above the trees, over the seas In all degrees To anywhere I please, yeah Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So I've got another easy song for you this week. This time it can be five chords or it can be four chords. And as always, you don't have to play it in bar chords. You could actually play it in power chords. So it's really easy. Or open chords. Now, the reason I say you can play with four chords or five chords is that this B that you've got in there, so I'll tell you the chords, it's all major, it's A, B, C, G, and D. So if you transfer that into open chords, A, B, C, G, D. Now, you can actually skip out the B, but what you have to do is just put a little a stepping note, okay? So it'll be A, just that B note, second fret on the A string, and go straight to C, so it sound like this. Okay, so, then G. One, two, three, four. So you're playing four chords, but there's a stepping note in there, okay? Now for the rhythm, you know, I'm not doing exactly how it is on the record. As always, I like to do things a bit my own way. So just so you understand, there are no rules. If, it's, if you can recognize the song, then it's the song, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. You can perfect it as much as you like to the record. It's just my way, okay? So starting off, you know, if you're a beginner, this is a really good form to start off with for bar chords, it's just that E, what we call an E form, so it's like a normal E chord, except I'm using the other finger so I can slide it up. So if you're confused about this whole thing, just play an E chord down here, swap the fingers around, second, third, and fourth, so you got this, and then you don't need to take these fingers off the strings, you can just slide them up until the first finger lands over that fifth fret, that's A. Down, up, down, up, down. Jump up, a whole tone, okay, which is going to be B, which is the seventh fret from the fifth to seventh. Down, up, down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, up, down. So I'm going up then another tone to C. So if you know your notes, there's no B sharp. B sharp is C. Okay, so. Then you, sl again, slide that whole position down to the third fret. I'm not taking my fingers off the strings. And you could go all the way up here, but I don't have a cutaway in this guitar, so it's a bit fiddly to get all the way up to D. So instead of doing D up here, I like to do it here. A string is the root of the fifth fret, and that's gonna be like an A form. Okay, I'm looking here because that's my monitor so I can see what I'm actually doing, making sure you can see my fingers. Um, I tend to, instead of doing that one, two, three shape, which is really awkward, I'll never do that live. I just use this third finger to cover the G, B, uh, sorry, the D, G and B. So A, D, G and B. You can mute the bottom E or avoid it and mute the top E or avoid it. Okay, so. So the rhythm can be the same with the open chords as well. But you saw me doing this, this kind of rhythm tap thing that helps keep the groove on the acoustic guitar, right? And 
Down up, down up, tap. Down up, down up, tap. Down up, down up, tap. Down up, down up, down up, down up, tap. 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 Same with the open chords. Sorry. Now, if you don't know B major, it's there, okay? It's again, we learned D there, so B major's just the second fret. Again, you don't have to do the B chord if you find it difficult, if you're a beginner. You can, you can do power chord, which I'd recommend if you're trying to improve in that direction, or just, you know, add that. And you see me using the second finger just for speed, right? Because you're into C then. It's one of those songs, it's really good fun, easy to play along with, and even more fun to play along with Buddy. Now, when I was playing along, I realized quite quickly it was not in the key of A. Some of you might think because it starts with an A chord, it's in the key of A. That's not necessarily how it works. Because there are no changes, it's all majors, they actually re relate more to the C major than they do the A major, okay? But actually, the C major doesn't quite work either, and the G chord has actually more related chords and notes to the song, all right? I'll go into depth with that in a different lesson. I don't really want to touch on it today. But what I found works beautifully is the A... A minor pentatonic, which is why I picked the song. So you can... A minor pentatonic is going to work beautifully. But if it's in the key of G, why does the A minor pentatonic work? Well, you have to use a little bit more knowledge, <laughs> which I'm going to avoid talking about now, otherwise this video will go on forever. But what you can think about is that if you play a G major position, now that's not something that most of you will be familiar with that shape. It's actually a pentatonic shape and it's the fifth pentatonic shape. So the first pentatonic shape is right next door to it. So with G, There's your fifth pentatonic shape, and then it goes around again, so that's your pentatonic minor shape, okay? So effectively, you could play a G major and an A minor over the top of it. Try it. Let me know how you get on. Thanks for supporting me, guys. You know, I don't get paid for these lessons due to copyright, but I have set up a PayPal donation button over on my website, and I've got some T-shirts for sale over there as well. Um, if you're wondering why I'm not in a studio, I'm in a different location, I've moved, hit me up over Instagram. You can find out a bit more about that if you're interested. Um, and if you've got any requests, hit me up over on Instagram or Facebook. I tend not to read my messages on Facebook so much because it's more of a private thing so you're probably better off getting me on Instagram or just drop me a message in the comments box below thanks for your support as always guys I'll see you again the same time next week